Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with the Dead Zone City Saint, Mr. Box. Now, I know that uh, Mary Poppins Pops and the Stray Dog Bo woof, woof, also grabbed one of these, so I'm gonna link them down below. Make sure you go over and check their box out. Let's see who did better, me or them, right? Let's pop over to the website so you can see what is available in this box. All right, so it is the Dead Zone Collectibles Morphin, Morphin Up, Morphin Up Mystery Box. It will have two to three pops. There's 20 boxes. The lowest box will be $31, obviously, at the, side, at the time of packaging. The highest box will be $110. We have opened over 300 mystery boxes over a five-year span. Yes, he has. Um, he usually has a closet full. Now, there are other um, ones to click here so you can see what else is available in the box. I mostly bought this box for support. I actually do not believe there was anything in here. These would be cool, but I don't, I'm not a uh, Power Ranger person. So I'm not really sure there's anything in here that would be a keeper for me, but there's some great pops in here. And obviously I grabbed one of these mainly to support Dead Zone. Let's pop back over to me. All right, so we got the box right here. I am going to cut it open. Again, it has two to three pops. I don't know what's in here or how many's in here, I guess. I mean, I know there's pops in here, duh. All right, so let's go ahead and get this. Oh, oh wait, don't cut towards yourself. Cut away from yourself. As excellent prone as I've been lately, I gotta cut away from myself. I'm not sure how these are packaged. Okay, um, I'm gonna set it over here and I'm just gonna reach in. Looks like I probably have two pops. What is this? Oh, I got some Pokemon trading cards. Let's see, without looking, I don't know. Uh, thank you for your purchase. We really appreciate it. And 10% off my next order. All right. They're both in here upside down, so I can't see them. They are both in pop protectors, which is really nice. All right. Let's get one of these out. Ooh, the struggle is real. All right. I got one. All right. Let's see. And boom. Oh, not something we collect, but this pop is really cool. And if you've ever heard me say, I don't sit around feeling my pops. So being flocked doesn't really make a difference. All right, we got one more in here. Let's see what we got. All right, ready? Boom. Oh, oh, this is Darth Maul. Is this the same Maul, the same pop I'm in an, a duck race with <laughs> for Foxy? That's crazy. Might be. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. Um, I'm not a Star Wars fan either, but can't complain, right? All right, so let's check some value. Uh, doo, doo, doo. All right, I usually use HobbyDB because I do not trust the Funko app. I know he went based off current eBay sales, which is what I usually use a lot too, especially when I'm listing stuff. All right, so the Iceman, two variants. Oh, Iceman. All right, the Iceman is worth $29. Wow, that's pretty good. That's almost the cost of the box. The box was $30 plus five shipping. So I almost made my money back right there just on the Iceman. All right, let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, this one is, I think this is the same one, except for it's a different sticker that Foxy's doing. This one is 19, so 29 and 19 is what? 39, $48, can't complain. That's a pretty awesome score. Unfortunately, no keepers for me, but again, these are used for Patreon giveaways, mystery box runs. Might even throw them up on eBay. If anybody's interested, let me know. But these are pretty awesome. I can't complain. So if you grabbed a Dead Zone box and I didn't know, sorry, but let me know what you got. All right? And don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreons because they get something every month. And if you're interested, there is a link down below. Also, make sure you stick around, check out that Patreon video. And remember, until next time, keep on rocking.